Hey, doing guys? Dragon Man here. I'm in the Colorado Springs Military Museum, and today I'm going to show you a bunch of my vehicles. Uh, they're spread all through this building, 75,000 square foot building. So uh, I'm going to show you about 50, 60 vehicles. Okay, so over here is the, the first 151, uh, 1960. Uh, the Kaiser Company made those. Over here is the World War II ambulance. Uh, these are very rare, the half ton. This is the panel uh, vehicle, the panel truck. They use it for a radio command vehicle. Okay, over here we got the, uh, the M38, uh, the uh, GPW, Ford. These are command cars, very, very rare. 1941 to 42, they made the half ton. 1943 to 45, they made the uh, three quarter. Over here, this is my uh, M3 half track. I have uh, seven half tracks right now, fully equipped. Okay, over here we have a, a six-wheel drive uh, troop carrier. We got the Yule motorcycle. We got the Vietnam era uh, ambulance over here. It's the M170. If you guys were in Vietnam, you definitely remember the ambulance and the M37s. Yeah, these here are M37s. And uh, the Dodge brothers made these 1950 to 68. They used them uh, right through Korea and Vietnam. Okay, this is the M43 ambulance, Vietnam era, and over here is my uh, Vietnam era display. Okay guys, come around the corner here. Over here is my oldest vehicle, World War I Dodge weapons carrier, and it still runs like everything else. The serial number is 147. Uh, in 1917, the Dodge brothers got an order for the U.S. government to make 1,000 of these for the Army. Okay, we got staff cars over here, more M37s. Uh, this is a uh, carry-all, World War II, three-quarter. Over here is the three-quarter, uh, it's a WC-51 three-quarter Dodge, 1944. We got the 1966 M43. Uh, we got the uh, WC-17 over here. Okay, over here we got the uh, the Kaiser uh, pickup they used during Vietnam. Here's another uh, panel truck. This is the uh, the cab, the closed cab uh, Dodge, half ton. Over here we got two more ambulances, uh, Vietnam era. These are the M43 three quarter. They made these 1950 to 54. Okay, we have a uh, World War II uh, ambulance over here. I have like four of those. And this is the uh, GPW Ford and the MD Willys, one of the very first ones, the slash grill. Over here, this is the M38A1 with a 106 millimeter recallless rifle. And uh, let's go into the other room here. Okay, over here, this is my 113 Vietnam era armored personnel carrier. It's got a uh, 400 cubic inch uh, Detroit uh, motor in it, fully equipped. This is my T54 tank. Over here we got the open cab half ton, 1941 to 42. We got the M38s, the M38A1. Uh, we got the uh, staff cars, the Dodge, 1941-1942. They use these all through uh, Vietnam uh, to get the officers around the base. Okay, in the back there we got another M38. Over here we got the uh, WC uh, three-quarter, uh, 1943 to 45. They made those, the Dodge Brothers. Okay, over here, this is the Gamma Goat. See that? They only made 14,000 of them. It's a six-wheel drive, and it's got a Detroit diesel motor in it. Runs really good. This is my M3 half-track. Over here is my M16 half-track. This is a uh, open cab WC half-ton Dodge. Over here we got the GPW Ford 1942. I got one of each Humvee. We got the Slashback Humvee. Uh, we got the uh, troop carrier Humvee, the two-door Humvee, the four-door Humvee, and uh, there's a lot of vehicles in here. And let's go through here. This is the weasel that they used uh, in and out of the Ardex Forest, uh, Battle of the Bulge, June, 6, uh, June uh, 16th, 1944. Uh, if you look in your history books, you'll see the weasels coming in and out of the Ardex Forest with the stretchers across the back, bringing out the, uh, the wounded and dead men. Okay, over here we got the uh, deuce and a half here, 1955 to 211. It's got uh, 500 pound practice bombs on the back. Okay, over here we got a whole row of uh, 151A2s. 
I got one of every kind. We got the closed cab, we got the soft top, and uh, we got the uh, open cab. Okay, over here, these are all M37s. I have like 11 of them. And uh, over here, this is a uh, M15 half track. In 1942, the White Trucking Company of Wisconsin only made 520 of these. Over 400 went overseas and never came back. Okay, come around here. Here's another open cab. As soon as this open cab, 1941 uh, Army vehicle came off the assembly line, it was obsolete. There's no cover, no uh, doors. Uh, they really uh, didn't like it. There was no protection for the soldiers. Okay, this is the uh, World War II uh, quarter ton trailer. And over here, this is a CCKW, 10-wheel drive. See that? 1943. Runs good. It would hold about 18 soldiers in the back. They use these all through World War II and Korea. Okay, over here, this is my M2 half track. And uh, in fact, uh, I just had this running yesterday. Here, let me start it up for you. I'll hook the battery up. I like to start all my vehicles up uh, twice a year. So, uh, stand by, I'm gonna push the button. Hey, you can open the door and we'll show them what the inside looks like. This is what the inside of a half truck looks like. See, there's not that much room in here and it's a rough drive. Rough ride, okay, we'll put the switch on. Make sure it's a neutral, hit the starter button. How's that, huh? Runs like a brand new car. All my vehicles run perfect. And I like to start everything up at least twice, twice a year. I want to keep everything combat ready. Okay, let me disconnect the battery here and uh, let's see what else we got to show you. In fact, you can look at the pictures here. This is the way I got it. And uh, look how nice it looks now. Yeah, a lot of these vehicles, I take them all apart, I have them sandblasted, I rewire them. Uh, we have the motor rebuilt or we put a rebuilt motor in them. And uh, when I'm done, you can see, they run like a clock. Okay, come over here. This is the last uh, 151, 1983. See, it's got the roll bar. Uh, 1984, they made the Humvee. Okay, over here we got a uh, World War II ambulance I have to restore, probably uh, this winter. This is an M38. After 1945, the U.S. government didn't even make a Jeep for five years until 1950, Korea, the M38. Okay, in the back there, that's a uh, bomb truck, a Ford bomb truck. That's really rare, and it's got a 1,000-pound napalm bomb on the back. Here's another M38A1 for the recoilless rifle with the snorkel kit. And over here is a mighty mine. They used to airborne ease to the Marines in Vietnam. In fact, I have the original parachute in this canister. I never took it out because I'll probably never get back in. What makes this vehicle really special, every wheel has its own differential and drive shaft. If this went over a landmine and one wheel blew off, it was designed to keep going on three wheels. And uh, this is my tug I restored. Yeah, look at the picture. Look how rough it was when I got it. I got this from a guy in New Mexico. He pulled it out of a, a lake. I don't buy them like that anymore. That was used to pull the 500-pound bomb trailers to load the B-24, B-25, B-17 bombers. Okay, guys, over here we have a closed cab CCKW over there. And uh, all my vehicles are fully operational. Everything works. And tell you the truth, it's a lot of work keeping all this stuff going. But I'm doing it. Normally, guys my age are already retired. To me, retired is an excuse not to work. <laughs> okay, guys, well, I'll never retire. But uh, I hope you liked the videos. Keep in touch. Come visit me this summer, and you guys have a great day. Thank you.